and we're back to learning Inkscape and this time I'm going to show you how to create these intertwined objects. At first we need to create them, let me use the ellipse tool for the circle and I'll hold control and I go to a 45 degree angle, let me click on the X and then I hold shift and click on a color to give it a stroke color. Now I use the polygon tool and I make it three corners and I hold control once more when I drag that. When we size it, hold Ctrl and Shift. That's a good point to start. Select it all, go to Object, Fill in Stroke. And under Stroke Style right here, we can adjust the width. Pick, for example, pixels, and let me just try 100. That's a good point to start. Now go to Object, Align and Distribute, and make sure that it's vertically aligned. That way it's in vertical center. Don't use the horizontal centering. You can see what happens. Make it vertically centered and then just reposition it by hand and hold control. Now let me pick a different color for the triangle. So I hold shift and click, let's say on the red color. Now I select them both and I go to path and stroke to path. I'll select the circle and bring it to the front in the hierarchy so it's on top of the triangle. Select it all, path and difference. And that's basically what we want. But we want to have the circle on top. And the solution to it is to just copy it. So Control D and I've got two circles and a triangle. I'll select the first circle and I'll shift and click on the triangle to select it as well, then path and difference. So now I have this triangle, the cutout shapes, and the circle on top. Now all that we need is the snapping enabled and the snap to path as well active. And we can use the Bezier tool now and follow the straight lines of our triangle right here. Doesn't matter where you start, but you always have to create one of these shapes and then leave it for the next intersection. So right here. I go to 1, 3, and 5, and I leave 2, 4, and 6 open, and that creates this intertwined effect. It's important that you give it the same fill color as your triangle, and that you get rid of the stroke. So just hold Ctrl and click on the X, and then use this red color. Finally, you can group it by pressing Ctrl G. And that's the process of creating this intertwined object in Inkscape. I hope this video was helpful, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.